get your share. All right, besides too many federal workers who don't pay their taxes and get paid 50% more than private workers, I got another issue here. Political regime change, a.k.a. not only high taxes, spending, borrowing, regulating, and all the rest of it like Europe, but the culture of corruption. Front page, New York Times, rash of scandals, tests Democrats at sensitive time. Let us go back to our distinguished guest, Nancy Skinner, radio host and columnist and culture. Nancy Skinner, this is like, you know, this uh, first paragraph of the New York Times story today, they really needed the whole page for it. David Patterson of New York, Charlie Rangel, Eric Massa, uh, Elliot Spitzer, uh, Blagojevich, Blagojevich, whatever his name is. Blagojevich, thank you very much. John Edwards, thank you very much. Uh, what are you going to do about this? You all are now in the same boat the Republicans are in in 2006. Yeah, well, you want me to list all those? I could go through all those names. But no, when I just you want to tell me what's going to happen yeah, in November. Well, I'm, you know what? This is what people care about. I'm in Detroit, Larry. People care about the economy. And what I thought about the economic policy is you look at the Republicans, they are hecklers. The Democrats are the heavy lifters. Bill Clinton, there was all the George Bush one heckling, and Bill Clinton had to come in. He got it. He inherited a deficit and a terrible recession in an economy. He did the heavy lifting, gave us 22 million jobs, got us out of that, gives his son a $290 billion surplus, who turns it into a 1.3 What does that have to do with the culture tr corruption? Trillion dollar in deficit. What does this have Obama to do with anything? Obama has to do all Nancy, the heavy you're lifting. you're reading from the DNC talking points. You're smarter no, than that. Facts. That's why we love to have you history. on. Th all right, let me make you're a shot. Talking about, are you and talking about scandals and like culture, uh, John culture, Edwards' sex scandals? Uh, besides the big government Tea Party revolt right. and economic policies, the culture of corruption has descended on the Democrats. How do you see it? Um, yes, of course. It hurt the Republicans. It hurt the Republicans a lot, and it'll hurt the Democrats. But I think um, the worst aspects of corruption aren't, you know, Charlie Rangel's many rent control departments or or Governor Patterson's Yankee tickets. It's AIG getting a bailout and saving Goldman Sachs after Goldman Sachs gives so much money to the Democrats and and to Obama and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. What, what have they cost the country, the taxpayers so far? A couple hundred billion yeah. and growing. Okay, and who do they give to? Chris Dodd, Barney Frank, um, Barack Obama. It's, it's, it's that sort of corruption that is, that is, that's costing the taxpayer. Oh, and how about Obama oh, giving a, oh, a federal talk. judgeship let's to talk. a wavering Democrat? Just, just let's talk about, about the cost of Let's second. talk about let the cost of corruption. Let me just get that on the table. Uh, to, just, just in 10 seconds, this federal judgeship to buy, this is on top of the, what, the Cornhusker uh, buyout right, in Nebraska. Right, right, right. This is on top of the Larry, Louisiana purchase Larry. in Louisiana. Are they really be, uh, buying a judgeship to get a vote for health care? Look, you he's the president. He has the right to do it constitutionally. But of course, and Larry asked me the question. No, he didn't. Cost, <laughs> no, cost? he very distinctly asked me the question. The I problem just want to get it, it on is, the table. Now I'll get to the Nancy. problem with it is this was a Democrat from Utah who voted against the health care bill the first time. Now you see Obama out there making this massive push. He will do anything to get health care through, and suddenly he decides to give the brother of this formerly no vote in in the house uh, a federal judgeship perhaps he's qualified for the judgeship but it certainly doesn't look good especially if this congressman switches his vote from no on the health care bill which is now massively unpopular to yes All right, as Nan it gets less and Nancy less popular Skinner, equal time equal <laughs> the time filibuster there now what uh, you want to talk about the cost of corruption? The Bush administration, the way they looted the Treasury with a special <laughs> interest, it cost $4 trillion in net worth, was wiped out of the stock market. We were set Nancy, back you're not 20 any years. Point. No, look Blaming at what happened. Bush, this the economy, statute of limitation the, is running out. But you know what? Even the economy, that, Time the Magazine just wrote a story saying Bush was right about it. Nancy. Oh, Bush this was is, right this about it. Larry, don't in, run on that slogan that this, Bush was right because right. you will not win for Nancy, office. Look, I have the greatest, you're terrific, and I'm so happy you come on our show, but I got to tell you, this 2010 election is not going to be about George Bush. You know it, and I know it. You got Obamacare, you got tax and spend and debt, you got the culture of corruption, Nancy. That's why I think there's political regime change you coming. It ain't about Bush. Recycle. You know what? That's what I'm saying. Hecklers. You're great hecklers. But when it comes to the heavy lifting of rescuing, rescuing an economy, stabilizing Nancy, financial this is and housing markets, you never do the I job. Think yelling and we out have to George pick Bush up. all the time is more it's, akin to heckling. I've got this reprint of Jeff Zeleny, whatever his name is, New York Times.
He's talking about rash of scandals, test Democrats. He didn't say George Bush. You're I mean, quoting the New the York thing. Times. Now you're quoting the New York Times. I Great, know. Larry. I love the Times when it serves my purpose. Nancy yes. Skinner, you're terrific. I just think you're wrong on this Bush thing. Ann Coulter, Thank it's great you. to see both of you. Thank you, ladies. Coming up, my last words. Please stay with us. It's not about Bush. Trust me. <laughs>